Now I'm finna give you clear instructions on how to play the scariest game you can play. You know, Bloody Mary is uh, pretty famous as, you know, the scary game you can play. But this right here go a little bit beyond Bloody Mary, if you ask me. And it take a little more to do. You know, it ain't like a Bloody Mary kind of silly and easy. But this right here is an actual ritual. Now, don't blame me if the junk work, all right? <laughs> the midnight game is an old pagan ritual used mainly as punishment for those who have broken the laws of the pagan religion in question. While it was mainly used as a scare tactic to not disobey the gods, there is still a very existent chance of death to those who play the midnight game. There's an even higher chance of permanent mental scarring, and it is highly recommended that you do not play the game. Don't play the midnight game at all. Now, for those, you know, few thrill seekers out there searching for a rush, or for those who like to get into that occult type stuff, you know, there's simple instructions on how to play this game. But now I'm going to tell you, you better do this at your own risk now. Don't blame me. Don't say hood whore told me to do it. I'm just telling you the story. If you do this, that's on you. But anyway, these are the instructions. Now, the pre the, before you get started, it must be exactly 12 a.m. when you start. As soon as you start the ritual, it got to be right at 12. Now, if you don't start it right at 12, it ain't going to work. Now, the materials you're going to need, you're going to need a candle, a piece of paper. You're going to need something to write with. You're going to need matches or a lighter. You're going to need some salt, a wooden door, and at least one little drop of your own blood. Now, if you're playing with multiple people, then um, they're going to all need the same things because everybody got to do the same thing now. And all this is stuff you can get at the dollar store. So going over there to Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Family Dollar, whichever one, and um, get these things so you can do it. So now, next, first step, you're going to write your full name, your first, middle, and last a, a name, whole thing, on a piece of paper. Now, you're going to put at least one drop of blood on the paper. Now, you're going to let that soak into the paper. Now, step two is you're going to turn off all the lights in your place while you're doing this. Now, you go to that wooden door and place the paper with your name on it in front of the door. Now, take out the candle and light it and place it on top of the paper. Now, the next step is you're going to knock on this door 22 times. And it got to be 12 a.m. when you hit that final knock. Then you open the door, blow out the candle, and close the door. And now you just allowed the midnight man to come into your house. Now, the next step. You're going to immediately relight your candle. And this is where the game starts. You must now lurk around your completely dark house with the lit candle in your hand. And your goal is to avoid the midnight man at all costs until 3.33 a.m. Now, if your candle ever go out, that means that the midnight man is right up on you. Now, you must relight that candle within the next 10 seconds. And if you ain't successful doing this, you got to immediately surround yourself with a circle of salt. Now, if you unsuccessful in relighting the candle and you unsuccessful in circling yourself with salt, the midnight man will create a hallucination of your greatest fear and rip out your organs one by one. And you're going to feel it, but you're not going to be able to react to it. 
Now, if you're successful in creating a circle of salt, you got to stay up in that circle until 3.33 a.m. And if you're successful in relighting your candle, you may proceed on with the game, but you got to continue to 3.33 without being attacked by the midnight man or being entrapped inside the circle of salt to win the midnight game. Now, the Midnight Man will leave your house at 3.33 a.m. And you will be safe to proceed on with your regular, you know, night or whatever. Now, there's a couple of extra little rules. A way to tell that you're near the Midnight Man will be a sudden drop in temperature. Or seeing a pure black humanoid figure through the darkness. And hearing real soft whispering coming from, like, just sound like it's hard to tell where it's coming from, but you're hearing it. Now, if you hear any of these things, it's advised that you leave the area to avoid the midnight man. Don't turn on any of the lights during the midnight game. Do not use a flashlight during the midnight game. Do not, ooh, please do not go to sleep during the game. And don't attempt to use another person's blood on your name. And don't use a lighter as a substitute for the candle because it won't work. And definitely do not attempt to provoke the midnight man in any way. And even when the game is over, he will always be watching you. <laughs> always. Any of y'all who brave enough to try something like that, have fun because you would never, ever catch me doing something like that. And uh, maybe with a group, I'd do it with like a group of people. You got to be at least be four people. I'd do it with like four people. But uh, nah, that ain't something that I'm going to do, especially if in a small by myself or with a small, mm -mm. nah, it's too easy to get separated. I figure with four, about four people, you can't really get separated too much. But uh, nah, I, I ain't uh, that ain't my style, man. But whoever do do it, let me know about it. Let me know how it go. <laughs>